Hi, Internet. Um, I always fail really horribly at keeping up with these, but I was watching Awkward Avalon's uh, Outfit of the Day, and it inspired me that maybe I should start doing Outfit of the Day. Um, I'm finally in Toronto, and at my boyfriend Evan's apartment, and he's gone for the weekend, so I am going crazy. There's a burlesque festival going on right now, and I'm thinking about checking that out. But I have no food to go with, so I always like I have enough crowd social anxiety as it is that it's harder to go to places that I've never been alone. So we'll see if that pans out. Cause they have like cool classes and stuff tomorrow that like sound really really fun. But I don't know if I want to go alone. Um. So yeah, I wanted to start doing outfit of the day because I get in this cycle where I pretty much wear the same thing every single day and maybe if I start making videos and start like because I used to do lookbook and uh, wardrobe remix when that was the big thing on Flickr because I'm old um, every day and that would keep me not wearing the same thing so since I'm actually in a city where people dress up I'm not in San Diego where people think Victoria's Secret sweatpants are proper attire to wear to work <laughs> um, maybe I'll start dressing up and looking proper um i've been noticing like everywhere we go we drive around and i see these striped maxi dresses because i have a striped maxi dress and i haven't been able to pull it off and so i'm like have decided it's an epidemic i'm like striped maxi dress striped maxi dress and i'm like looking at all the women and seeing who can pull it off and who can and i'm like debating whether i should wear mine or not but anyway this is what i'm wearing today i'm wearing this horizontal striped shirt with a collar because I love my collars but no shirts. Okay. So these shorts that I wear ridiculously way too much. So my keys and like my phone and my pocket and stuff. But I really need to go to a thrift store and buy another pair of shorts. So if anybody knows of like where the Goodwills and the Salvation Armies and where the good ones are and what the sales are in Toronto and let me know, that'd be awesome. Um, my boots, my boots are these combat boots that I don't particularly love too much, but I ordered a pair from uh, Penam now again. <laughs> I have no idea how to say this website. Uh, P-E-N-N-A-G-A-L-A-N, yeah, .com. And they have just switched manufacturers, so the boots are taking like four months to arrive. And they're really, really cool. And they're like platform boots, and they're gonna be my summer boots. And now it looks like they're gonna be my fall boots. But whatever, I, I need new boots. My triple lace are falling apart at the seams. I had to sew up the zipper to keep them together yesterday. So I'm worried. If anybody has any Lamb Valera boots that they don't want anymore, or you know, if you wanna send me some Anduil Mister triple lace boots, I probably butchered her last name. Sorry. Go ahead, do it. Yeah. Says says thirty nine. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah. This is my outfit today. I'm really bad at jewelry. I feel like I saw the girl with that neon necklace. That um. Ooh, what's that ahead of Water's name? Yeah. Uh, was wearing an I picture post a picture of her. Um, with the neon beads in it from I think it's from H and M or Forever Twenty One. I'm not really sure. Probably H and M. I really, really want it. I think it'll look really cute with this, so maybe I'll go buy one. But I fail at wearing jewelry because if I have a necklace on my bare skin, it can break out. And rings always turn my fingers green, and I react to terrible metals, so I just don't wear accessories that much. The only accessories I wear are my ears, which are big now. I haven't probably shown you guys since they're the same size now. I feel so much better now that my ears are the same size. Um. And I have my nose ring back in that sunk, kind of, since I put it back in. So it's really low down. So if it looks awkward, can you tell me so I can take it out? Because nobody will be honest with me. Um, and yeah, and then I, every time my lip ball falls off, it takes me like two weeks to replace it. But every time my hip ball falls off, it takes me like five minutes. So I haven't had a lip ball on for like three weeks because it fell off while I was like in Chicago or something. And I just neglected to put it back on but then yesterday morning my hip ball fell off and I was like <gasps> and so I like went and found my piercing balls and put that back on and everything 
But yeah, okay. So this is what I'm wearing today. So I can't wear it again tomorrow. If you live in Toronto and you want to hang out, <laughs> this is so desperate. I'm like, this is my my personal video on YouTube for the fact that I just moved to Toronto and I know absolutely nobody, and it kind of sucks. So if you like vintage shopping or food <laughs> or breathing or you want to go roller skating hit me up because I have no friends. Bye. Bye guys.